Hey everyone, welcome back to episode four of Infra Space. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Uh, it really does help out the channel. And uh, make sure to check out the uh, first three episodes of this series um, to kind of you know catch up to where we're at now. But um, if you don't know what this game is, it is a kind of a, a sci-fi um, kind of city building game where everything runs through transportation. So you have to be really smart about where you place things and how you place things. Um, right now we have got a little bit of difference between uh, episode three and episode four. Um, I have installed these solar panels up here. And so that means now we can run this entire division here. So if we go to visualization and turn on power, you can see that all that power is coming down this line here and it's going into the substation. The substation powers this entire gigantic area. And so what I said last episode is I wanted to build a, another housing structure. Uh, so that is what we are going to do. Uh, we're currently doing some researching. I think the game is currently paused. No, it is running right now. Um, so I think we're gonna do is we are gonna pause it up and we are going to uh, kind of lay out what we want our housing to be. It, it, I'm probably gonna screw this up. Like I probably will change it a lot. So you might notice some cuts here and there, but um, the main point of what we're trying to do is we are trying to create another housing district because our population, our housing is at 584, our population is at 584 and our jobs are at 554. So we're actually pretty smooth right now, but if we wanna start increasing our city level to level four citizens, we need to get 1000 uh, level four citizens. So in order to get level four citizens, we need to upgrade these houses. So we need computers and parks. So we're gonna increase our population uh, capacity first and then we're gonna build more of those jobs. So before we create the jobs, we need the housing because if we create the jobs first, nobody can live anywhere and nobody's gonna immigrate to the planet and then we're just reducing our efficiency across the entire uh, city. So housing first, so let's get let's get on that. So with the substations, that's actually perfect because we can actually just build uh, a substation kind of in the center of our housing. So I'm thinking, do I wanna expand further down here? Um, which would actually reduce the amount of transportation. We could put an offshoot from here, um, or we could just put an offshoot from over here for the uh, for these uh, home appliances, I believe they are. Yeah, these are the home appliance factors. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the side over here. Um, and then, so we are going to, I wonder if the, I wonder if these atmosphere processors are enough to pump into the new housing district. We're gonna try that, we're gonna try that. Is this a one-way road? This is a one-way road back here. So we could technically put an offshoot on here or convert, um, or just, uh, well, we'll figure that out. Let's, let's build the actual housing first, then we'll connect all the roads up. So, all right, so we wanna build a substation. So let's take a look at our power and our substation. We don't want it to be placed um, too close to the other one. So what I'm thinking is we're going to try to line up with where this one is. So it's on this grid here. So let's just go this way and let's place it right about there. So there's our substation. So that's where our substation is gonna power our next um, division of division, our, our next, I don't know, our community of houses, uh, but it does need power. So it does need power from the solar panels because right now it's not getting any. So what we can do is we can just run, maybe we just run this road parallel uh, along here because yeah, because the population is gonna need to get there. So yeah, let's just continue this road down. Uh, so we have um, these highways now, which is perfect. So we can do a one-way highway continuing down here. Um, and that will, we'll just we'll just run this all the way down for now. Um, not sure how long that's gonna need to be uh, in general, but what that is going to allow us to do is we can then take our power poles and we can, uh, if we right click, no, not right click, sorry. If we left click and then we can run these all the way down until they connect. Uh, let's go about maybe, uh, maybe um, there. And then we will left click that. And then that will give us, so there's not an extra pole there. So there we go. So that works out. So now this area should all be powered. So we click on this. We are generating, come on, click on, hey, no, uh, let's close that. Sorry, one sec. We click on, hey, why aren't you working? Why aren't you, wait, hold on. Do you have to be, oh, you have to be played, my bad. Derpy derp moment, moment there. So we are creating 300 megawatts of power. Uh, we are probably gonna need to expand our solar farm a little bit, but what I did is I made it so that way I can just expand these out and I can just you know move these lines. So not a big deal later on, we can do that. Uh, plus, we can also just expand and put solar uh, solar panels really anywhere. As long as we connect them to the grid, we're, we're, we're fine. So 
Now, what we are going to do, I think, is we are gonna follow a similar grid pattern, but I think what I wanna do is I wanna place the houses maybe first. So let me see, we've got our basic habitats. So if we line them up on the grid, if we do no grid, we can, no, we don't want a no grid. We want a maybe not a 45 degree grid, a zero degree grid. These houses we currently have are not placed on a grid. However, if we go with something like maybe um, like this, uh, what we can do is we can uh, now put them out like so using our D key to just place them over. Uh, that way they do stay in line. And we'll put maybe, how many is that? Let's see, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's do 12, let's do 12. Uh, so we'll place one more like so. And then these do need roads. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if I wanna connect them into our current roads. That would probably be the easiest because then things would just kind of transport around. Um, these are these are four lane, these are two lane, four, um, four lane, uh, two lane left, uh, left and right or north, south, whatever you want to call it, uh, that stuff. So if I, if I could, I could just do that, but I think what I need to do is actually, this junction is weird here. So let's actually fix that. Um, so let's, um, continue this road down. We can't use highways. So we do have to use the concrete roads. Do they need to be four lanes? I don't think they need to be four lanes. Although that would help with traffic. Uh, let's keep them four lanes for now. Let's just let's just keep them four lanes. Uh, let's run this all the way down to there. So now those houses are now connected in. Uh, they are the opposite of the other ones, but that I think is okay. Uh, so like the road is on that side. Maybe if we wanted to be on that side, well, well, if we did, we could just go like this. We could just change it like this. So let's just delete that. Um, and let's get rid of that power network thing. There we go. So if we want to do this, we just got to go on the other side and do it. We want them to connect on this side. However, something is funky going on there. Oh, it's because these houses are lined up with that. So that road is actually not going to line up, I don't think. Um, I don't think I load that. Yeah, I don't think this road is going to allow me, unless I go no grid maybe. Uh, yeah, no, that's not going to allow me to connect that road there. That is a bit of a bummer. Unless I, no, no, can't do that. Can't raise it like that. What if we go... Nope, can't do that. Okay, so that is gonna be, oh, train signaling, what's that? Stop, I don't want trains. I don't want trains. Turn that off, there we go. Um, so we can't actually follow that. I think it's because these houses are not, yeah, that's 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 a bit of a problem. So let me fix this real quick and then we will come back in and get you guys uh, up to date on what we've done. So let me, let me fix this real quick. One eternity later. Okay, so I've got that fixed. I was able to move some of these houses a little bit as well and kind of fix the spacing a little bit. So right now, at this point, if we were to run everything, our housing would have uh, doubled at this point, which is good, which is good. We need, the, we, need, we need more housing. So now it's just the atmosphere process. But what I found is that this road just simply cannot run down this, this space here with these houses here. And it's a little, it's, 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 it's a little annoying. Um, but that is fine. So like, see, watch if I were to put, see, like it allows me to go to here, but then I can't go any further, but I think that's going to be okay because none of, uh, oh, let's actually reverse that direction real quick. Reverse road. There we go. Uh, none of actually, what? That's a two lane road. Why is that? A, why is it? Why is this a two lane road? This doesn't need to be two lane road. Uh, oh, no, uh, wrong one. Uh, let's replace that real quick, uh, with a one lane. Oh, I don't know why that's two lane. Um, no, replace road with a concrete road. And there we go. I don't know why that was two way. Huh, that's weird. All right. Anyway, so what we did is we placed this road here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to continue our atmosphere processors, um, just along this road, uh, because it doesn't seem to want to allow me to snap them anywhere else further beyond this. So I think, I think we'll be okay with this many atmosphere processors. Not going to lie. I think that's probably enough uh, for this entire housing division. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, connect our roads down here, like we've done in the past on uh, back back before. So let's actually go to our two lane concrete roads, um, and then we go to not replace road, and then we need to uh, build these out just a little bit, like so. Uh, connect those there. Go right about there. And right about there. Now we connect those. 
Those are not straight. Okay, that's 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 a little frustrating. Let me fix those real quick. Why? See, you think that they would snap out to the same spot, but they aren't. Like these snapped out to the same spot, but those ones those ones did not. Um, so let's snap out. Uh, let's actually go. Okay, these need to go a little, bit, a little bit further out. So one piece, and then one piece, and then let's connect those, and then let's build this one up here like this uh, and then let's connect that to why is that it's like not it's like not snapping to the 180 degree uh it's i think it's the 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 road itself like the angle so we should, we're gonna have to try to do that ourselves as best as we can there we go and then i don't think we even need this section of road right here so let's get rid of that um, and then we need to, I think if we bring this back down around, yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's connect them on this side as well. Um, the only thing that's going to have to happen here is we are going to have to bring this road out a little bit on the side, which is not a big deal. We'll just, uh, maybe we'll just, uh, angle it just a teeny tiny bit, uh, go there. What is that? That is a weird looking intersection. Let's get rid of that. Um, it's because we didn't make it very long. I think we have to make it a little bit longer. Go like that behind there. And then we can now run all this down here. Um, let's turn this. Um, oh, see, it's not, it's not, it's like trying to follow that grid. Let's, it, I don't want it on the grid. Like it's not supposed to be on a grid. Uh, there we go. Oh no, and maybe I did want it on the grid there. That's fine. Uh, let's go like that. And then we'll connect that into there. And there we go. So now we have that all connected. So if we hit play, these guys should start getting oxygen uh, soon. Like these guys should all start getting oxygen. They should be getting home appliances. They should be getting food. Uh, this may need to be a two lane um, one way actually. Let's change that up to a two lane one way. Uh, so let's replace that road. Uh, so that way trucks can come out both sides. Uh, and then let's do a uh, two lane there. Um, okay, so that should be good. Everybody can kind of go. Uh, is that a one lane? No, that, that this is a two. Yeah, this is two lane. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need to be highway. So that's fine. Uh, this is highway just because it just goes faster when they get on the actual highway. Um, so we are getting a bit of a traffic jam here because uh, of all the oxygen coming out. Um, these. These are connected. Like, you just can't see the roads. That's, that's a bit weird. Okay. So a bit of a traffic jam. So let's actually see what we can do here to fix this. So let's pause this. Um, and then that road is going to go... Wait, why did I put that road down there? I don't even know why I put that road down there. That road doesn't even need to be there, but that's fine. We'll figure that out another time. Because uh, these are guys... Yeah, actually, you know, you, know, you know what? Let's just delete that section. It doesn't even need to be there. Um, okay. And then we go back into here. And then we have this one-lane road... Uh, let's actually replace, so this is going to be a two-lane road, uh, so two-lane replace, go like that, um, and then here is where we have our intersection, so let's take the, um, maybe the uh, two-lane road here, and take the replace off, and then we connect that into there, like so, and then if we connect that, into maybe uh maybe uh hold on let me turn this so i can actually see if i'm doing this straight or not uh put that no we want the one lane sorry one lane road into maybe here can that can that work let's see if that i don't know this is all new to me i'm i'm i'm, I'm working on this i'm trying to learn this so let's see wait why is there oxygen coming from over there oh it's extra oxygen that's right okay that's extra oxygen i forgot about that so now we have issues here, although it doesn't seem to be doing too bad, actually. We might have fixed might have fixed it a little bit. I mean, the population, once we reach the population, there'll be less cars coming here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I always do that. Uh, I forgot to unclick. So that is one lane. Yeah, I think maybe that that might be working a little better, actually. Yeah, that may be working a little better. Things are, houses are getting their oxygen. Okay, so that's good. So these guys don't have electricity. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so 
that is the one downfall with that. So I might actually have to squish these together, actually. Yeah, so let's pause that up a little bit. Let's So let's place it on the grid. And then we'll have double coverage there, but not a big deal. And then we'll go here and take the power pole, click on that and add that power pole in. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we fixed the how fixed the power issue. So let's turn off the visualization and press play. And so these have actually some of these are already upgrading, which is perfect. So we now have 1104 housing currently, but only 575 jobs. Our population is steadily increasing. I think we fixed the traffic issue a little bit. It seems to be flowing a little better. Uh, you can use traffic lights and stuff like that, but like I said, these will eventually slow down, so that's not a big deal. So I think we're okay for that now. Um, and then, um, yeah, I think that housing is exactly what we wanted to do. But yeah, so I think I think we're doing okay right now. Um, it may not be the most organized place, but it, it, it functions. The traffic isn't too bad over here right now. I mean, it's definitely busy, but... Um, everybody's getting oxygen. There's no warnings. There's no electricity warnings. Habitats are upgrading. Um, and we are pretty good. We've unlocked large buildings. So, uh, we've unlocked a park, which is one of the things that these habitats need to upgrade next. So computers and parks. So yes, yeah, so that's going to be next episode. We're actually going to work on creating the parks and the, um, uh, and the computer factories. So, a bit of a jumble in this episode, but sometimes these are going to happen because there's just, you know, things you got to do to get to the next part of the game. So I appreciate you guys watching this video, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have, and I'll see you in episode five. Thanks for watching.